what's up guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be doing this quick cute hairstyle these are the passion twist eight inch and yes i used a little bit of the rubber band method in the top to see how i achieved this look just keep on watching of course, you're going to need a crochet needle, a couple of clips. I use Shining Jam for smoothing and grease to moisturize. So I started off with freshly washed hair and my hair is very fine. As I told y'all in the beginning of the video, I used the rubber band method in the small portion of the top of my hair just so it can look like they were individuals instead of a crochet style. So first thing I did was part it off my hair and started to braid it. I used some of that little coconut oil grease to moisturize it some because y'all my hair is so dry. And I decided to do the rubber band method in the top also because my hair is very very fine as you can see very very thin y'all so yeah let's get into it parts of my hair y'all i use a little bit of braid hair just because my hair is so thin it makes the braid a little bit tighter but when you're doing crochet you don't want the braids to be having too much tension on your hair anyway so i did use a little bit of braiding hair in some parts of my head and so your braid pattern depends on how you want your hair to lay what style you're going for that's how you know how to braid your hair So here I'm just parting my hair off and continuing to braid, doing the same thing that I did on the other side, just braiding my sides straight back. <laughs> So now that both sides are done, we are getting closer to the top. Actually, we're at the top. And so this is where I started the rubber band method. And when you do these rubber bands, this is your head. So, hey, if you put them on there tight, get ready to have a headache. <laughs> so whatever you do, when you put your rubber bands on there, do not put them on there tight. It don't take them. They don't have to be tight, y'all, in order for this to work. And so the rubber band method, what it does for me, because my hair is so thin, is just make my crochet look like individuals. And it give it a cleaner look if you use the shining gel. On both sides of my head, I use uh, rubber bands on both sides at the top, all the way halfway to like middle ways of my head. And then I braid it on down to the back, which you'll see in the rest of the part of this video. And so the sides is braided straight back all the way to the back. Also, I want y'all to take those rubber bands and dip them in a little bit of oil before you use them. So that way, when you take them out your hair, it won't pull as much hair out as it normally does. I'm going to try to show y'all the back of the hair a little bit when I'm done. But yeah, I couldn't really look at the back of my hair and record it at the same time. And so I did the rubber band method at the top and then I just braided from midways of my head all the way back in a regular braid. 
So I went ahead and did the other side of my hair just like I did the side that I showed y'all off camera to go ahead and finish. I braided both sides at the bottom, the first two bottom braids straight back. And in the top, as you can see, I used rubber bands. And this is the back. These are the passion twists that we are going to be using. They are the 8-inch passion twists. I've used them before, so I'm just reusing them. I want to say they was the Model Model brand or either Toyotris. Toyotris. I'm sure if I'm pronouncing it right or not. And so, yeah, let's go ahead and start the crochet. What you want to do is put your crochet needle in and put it in downward because that will make your twist lay flatter and lay downward, if that makes sense. Wherever you point your crochet needle is the way that your braids is going to lay. When installing, always point your crochet needle downward. I'm gonna put the crochet needle through the braid, hook the hair onto your crochet hook and pull it through. That's what you do. So I went ahead and did all of the bottom off camera. And, but I'm going to show y'all how I did it at the bottom. And also how to do the rubber band part at the top. It's very easy. Very, very easy. And so, yeah, you just put your crochet needle through the braid. Hook the crochet hair on and close it. And let me demonstrate that for y'all. Put that needle through under the braid. This is under the rubber band part. Hook it. Pull that braid through the hole, and you have a crochet. So with the rubber band method, you're going to have squares, if that makes sense. And you place those twist blade, twist braids in each section of the square. Point that crochet needle downward when you're doing the right side, and point your crochet needle downward when you're doing the left side. Hook the passion twist onto the needle and pull it through under the rubber band. There's going to be a hole. Take the twist and pull it through the hole and just tie it. So basically what you're doing is sticking the hook, hooking the crochet braid on, and pulling it through. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you want me to do a more in-depth video of how to do crochet braids of any style, let me know. And I definitely will. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, comment down below and let me know. And I will see y'all in the next video. I love y'all. If I wrote you a symphony just to say how much you mean to me What would you do if I told you you were beautiful? Hello stranger, it's been a minute since we last kicked And by the way, just got in town And I won't let you, you mean this Call in the sky